to movies or going out somewhere to eat or, you know, just going out, hanging with them or going on dates uh, or just, uh, you know, going to parties, stuff like that that I just missed out on. He's 19 years old. He should be dating. He should be kissing girls. He should be driving a car. I mean, that's his world in their television. That's it. Sometimes, you know, I just wish that I could just get out of my body. It's like a prison that you just move around with. There's no escape. There's... And you know what? It, 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 with the weight, it ends up destroying you. It takes your life away. It takes away the things we're supposed to do. In hours, Billy goes to hospital for the high-risk treatment that could cure him or kill him. Do you want Daddy to be there tomorrow, or are you good just with me? Uh, that doesn't need to be there. I'm okay. Yeah, you're a big yeah. boy. You need me there. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Billy Robbins is the world's heaviest teenager. All right, one leg at a time. At 60 stone, Billy relies on his mother for his every need. Today, Billy's going to hospital for a series of operations that, if successful, will help him bring his weight down to 14 stone. He knew in his, in his head that he had to do something about his weight. Because his mom can't keep weight on him and doing things for him. But, Barbara just loves him too much, and she she does for him, and she feels guilty about uh, the way that she fed him, and I feel guilty about uh, not being the best dad and and not spending enough time with my son. But it was quite a relief when he decided he wanted to go ahead and do it. I guess having to have surgery kind of scares you because it makes you face the reality of it because. You're going down a path that's going to end up killing you, probably sooner than later. With patients the size of Billy, transportation to hospital involves all the emergency services. Senior 15 to ladder 56, you can come on down about three or four houses. Give me a kiss. Mm -hmm. Give me another kiss. <laughs> mm. I love you, baby, and I'm so proud of you. Mm -hmm. You're so brave. It's okay. I know it is. Leave me alone. Quit bothering me. Where is he? He's in here. All right, the game plan is we're going to move you outside and uh, set you on the back of the ambulance and just kind of pull you up into it. Is that okay? Okay. All right, my name's Craig. It's nice to meet you, Craig. Nice to meet you. Welcome. Called a manual. Yeah, that's what I thought. It's called a Mansack. It's got handles where you can lift folks. I don't know if it has any printed rating on it, but hopefully 800 pounds. <laughs> <laughs> We're not real sure. We hadn't tested it out too much. You can just turn around and take a seat on that. So, well, uh, see what we can do. Billy and his mother have only ever been apart once before. Are you okay laying back? We got that leg down here. Billy's stay in hospital could last many months. I'm so proud of you. I love you. The hardest part is knowing that I'm going to have to let go to a certain extent. Uh, that I can't be the, he can't be the five-year-old and I can't be the mom that does everything anymore. That I have to let go. I have to let him change. I have to let him grow up. But by the time Billy arrives at the hospital, his mother has already sped there to meet him. Yes, I need a kiss first time. Now all on the lips. Come on. All right. Oh, you here you go, boy. See, you've already, you've already left, Mama. Nice and smooth. Billy's first appointment is with the hospital's patient liaison officer, Melissa Morris. Better? Oh, it's, it's not an easy road. It's not. But you'll have support. People at the hospital are extremely nice to you. They feed you. <laughs> Maybe not exactly what you want, but they feed you. When I met Billy, oh, I could feel his pain. 
how bad he just wanted to just stop. This was me. This is actually two days before his surgery. It's the best decision I ever made in my life. Melissa is one of the hospital's greatest success stories. Four years ago, she weighed almost 50 stone. I didn't have a life. I was ready to die because I couldn't take care of myself. You don't eat food just because you feel like, hey, I want to be fat. Nobody wants to be fat. And there's always a reason behind it. Don't let your fear hold you back. If you let fear hold you back, you're going to be trapped where you're at for the rest of your life. You could go into space. You could be the President of the United States of America. I want all those things for you, but I want you to, if you want them, I want you to be able to get them and your size not hold you back and your health. I'm, I'd like Honey, to do it. I would. I want you to be better and happy. Melissa knows that for Billy to stand any chance of success, his mother needs to change too. She's going to have to realize he's not a baby anymore. When she sees him, she doesn't see the 800-pound man. She still sees her infant. She still sees a child. When Billy arrives at the ward, he weighs in at 57 stone. Yeah, go ahead. You can go back to that. That's fine. Before Dr. Nazardin can operate, he must first assess Billy's health. Okay, really. I'm going to just check your heart and lung and see how things are going. Take a deep breath for me. Billet's situation right now is very critical. He is 19 and he has pushed his way to the limit that is uh, overdriving his heart and lung. And he doesn't have much reserve to work with it. So he's going to need help now or probably his lifespan is very short. The doctor's ultimate aim is to reduce the size of Billy's stomach so it can only hold a few ounces of food. But finding a way to Billy's internal organs won't be easy. First thing we do, uh, we remove that excess fat that you get hanging in here. You got a lot of fungus infection in this flap and, uh, and that's a very heavy chunk of tissue, we get rid of that as a first step. You know, that, that fold is so deep and so heavy that I can't even get to the bottom of it. Frankly, I don't think um, Billy has the potential to make it to uh, early 20 or late 20 with the way uh, that his weight going on right now. Before the doctor is willing to risk operating, Billy must lose some weight by dieting. He'll be all right. Okay? Oh, he's in good hands. All right. I've got him here in time, man. Yeah. Billy's used to consuming 8,000 calories a day. Now this will be reduced to just 1,200. It'll be good. You won't even think about it. It may take you a couple days, but truly you will. That's my bag. Hey baby, what are you doing? Are you getting hungry? You're good? Praise the Lord. I'll be all right, you know, I just have to get to this first night. <laughs> Without his mother to look after him, Billy is having to adjust to a whole new regime. I'm really happy that I decided to do this. I really am glad that I made the decision because no one else is going to make it for me and I need to take some control of my life. I just figure if you can get further the first week or so, you'll, you, it's going to be a lot easier the second week. Billy's weight loss surgery is just part of the plan. When he returns home, his family will have to make major changes, so the hospital have arranged for Billy's mum to see a psychologist. I thought, should I not? <laughs> Dr. Trapity, it's nice to meet you. Uh, anytime I see a child who is obese, the first question I would ask is, has there 